I think being a great lawyer is somebody that, uh, first of all, realizes that you don't know everything. I've been practicing law for 30 years, and I am certain when I say I have never met anyone quite like Carmine. When I hear the name Carmine Giuliano, a smile comes to my face, and I'm sure many others. You're going to have a laugh, and it's going to be entertaining. I wasn't book smart, but uh, I think the biggest attribute I had was that I was street smart and I was clever. You, you could not pull the wool over my eyes. Carmine is the Colombo of the criminal bar. The people who do not take him seriously pay for it. I witnessed the riots in Chicago at the National Democratic Society. I thought I saw injustices and I uh, thought perhaps uh, maybe I would be a lawyer. I went to uh, law school, I graduated in 1981 from Quinnipiac School of Law. I worked at the clerk's office in High Court and Hartford Superior Court where I was a clerk sitting on jury trials of high profile murder cases. It was the greatest training period I ever had uh, far greater than law school. He plowed his way through. He took the bar exam many, many times. I didn't pass the bar the first time, uh, unfortunately. His qualities uh, are varied, but I, I'd say his most persistent quality is his tenaciousness. I, I didn't quit. I continued to study, and the studying, I think, became cumulative. He goes forward, he doesn't care, and he's not afraid. After I passed the bar exam, I continued to work in the clerk's office for a while until I started getting some assignments as special public defender cases. Fortunately for me, uh, a bail bondsman who was in a position to refer criminal defendants to me took a liking to me and he started sending me cases. After three or four or five months, I started uh, being the bright new star, supposedly, and uh, my name got around, and I was getting more and more cases every day, and I was hitting, starting to hit my stride. 22-year-old Kedrick Sutton of Hartford, 24-year-old Malachi Dean of Windsor, pleading not guilty at their arraignment today in New Britain Superior Court. Of course, I, I certainly don't look like I did uh, 40 years ago. Despite the allegations and the arrest warrant were presented in front of the court today, um, I was not involved, according to the main suspect, Dean Malachi. Publicity, TV, uh, newspapers. The Constitution maintains, as you know, Lou, that uh, innocent until proven guilty. And those are just allegations that they weren't able to substantiate with that with the witness that they maintained that they had from New York. He believes in the dignity and respect of every individual, no matter what their faults, no matter what their allegations. We plan on appealing both the sentencing, um, the sentence that was given by Judge Dorsey today, as well as appealing the, the decision of the jury, and we're going to be asking for a new trial. The police report doesn't indicate that shots are being fired from the automobile that the victim was in, uh, which would set up a defense, self-defense type claim. He's a bulldog. He does not stop. He just keeps coming at you. This isn't an assault. It's not a pistol whipping. This isn't Rodney King. It's the same thing I've been saying right along. Carm has no airs about him. He doesn't ever think he's better than anyone else. He doesn't ever lose compassion for the situation his clients are in. He tried a lot of cases. He pissed off a lot of judges. He made friends with them again. Most of the judges loved him. Some didn't, he didn't care. He just did what he had to do. And uh, he was a diligent and responsible lawyer. I had no idea that my career would end up being with a 40-year stint as a criminal lawyer, well-known criminal lawyer on TV and newspapers on a daily basis with a huge clientele, with my name well thought of. I attribute that to the fact that I genuinely loved the law. And uh, you have to really care about people, and you can't fake that. If you didn't care, you wouldn't be able to do this. Right or wrong, uh, guilty or not guilty, every criminal defendant is presumed innocent. They're cloaked in a presumption of innocence. 
They remain cloaked in that presumption of innocence throughout any criminal proceeding. It's the state's burden to prove each and every element of the crime charged beyond a reasonable doubt, and that means that they have to remove any doubt that is reasonable that springs from the evidence or from the lack of evidence. Thank you. I like that part. That should be in there.